All right. What was the message about? I guess something wrong with my social. All right. Uh, first of all, may I have your first and your last name? Crystal. Uh huh. Meth head. All right. Just stay on the line, okay? Let me have a check on my system. All right, you there? Yes. Yes, ma'am, the reason you have been contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action falls under your social, because your social has been found suspicious with some fraudulent activities in the state of Texas, that is drug trafficking as well as money laundering. So do you have any knowledge what is going on with your social? No, I don't. All right, uh, ma'am, in order for me to go ahead and provide you the whole information which I have in my system, you need to verify me your last four digits of your social. Two, two, one, five. Mm -hmm. All right, apart from that, can you verify me your mailing zip code? What? Yes, can I have your mailing zip code? Your zip code, ma'am. 97266. It's not. Is it 97266? Yes. Alright, uh, do you have a piece of paper in a pan with you so that you can note down some of my information for your future reference? Yes. All right, please write on my name. My name is Officer Scarlett Walton. My first name is Scarlett. First name is what? And my last name is Walton. It's Scarlett. Scarlett? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. S-C-A-R-L-E-T. Scarlett? Johansson? And my last name is, yeah, Walton. Okay. Are you done? Yes. All right. Uh, now, please write on my federal page ID number, my employee page ID number. That is SSA6821. Okay. All right, now write down your case number. Your case ID number is T is in Tom, X is in X ray, 7010. Okay. All right, now, uh, now write down your warrant number. That starts with D is in Delta, C is in Charlie, 7010612. Okay. All right, can you repeat my name and my federal page ID back to me? I just want to make sure that I have provided you the right information. Scarlett Walton. SSA mm -hmm. 68Q1. Uh, yeah, that's correct. All right, Ms. Crystal, now I'll be going ahead and providing you the information which I have in my system, so I will highly appreciate if you do not interrupt me while I'm speaking. I'll give you a few enough chance to raise your caution right. after I'm done. Is that okay with okay. you? Yes. All right, and let yeah, and let me remind you the land which we're talking is federally recorded land. So we so just be honest, okay? Because whatever you okay yeah, whatever okay. you say will be used evidence against you or in your favor in the courthouse. So courthouse. Yeah, uh, just be honest. Honest. Uh, you are the prompt back in an ongoing investigation being carried out jointly by the Social Security Administration, along with the U.S. Marshal in the case of money laundering and drug trafficking. The investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas, and the car contained some blood and drug residues inside it. 
Hence, after the investigation, we found that a car was rented under your name and under your personal information. Uh, there was an address linked with the title of the vehicle. The address in the city of Rolit was rented by the U.S. Marshals, but unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence. But we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug, and some financial documentation, such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, Bank of U.S., and many more. And the entire paperwork has a name on it, and thousands of dollars have been wired from this bank account locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. That is the reason we, as the Social Security Administration of the state of Texas, has filed a case against your name for drug trafficking as well as money laundering. So what is your clear intentions towards this case, which is going to be executed once these lines get disconnected? What do you have to say? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Are you the, yeah, are you the one involved in this case? Like, do you have anything to do with drug trafficking and money laundering? Uh, probably not in Texas, I don't. Not in Texas? Not in Texas, no. Alright. Alright, uh, let me ask you some few questions over this recorded line. So, uh, have you ever been to the south border of Texas? Yes, I have. Uh, when was the last time you have been to the south border of Texas? About two years ago. Alright, uh, it's been a year. All right, have you ever shared your personal information with any of your family members, your co-workers, or your friends? No. Okay. Uh, like, have you ever lost your wallet, your phone, or your identity in the past? No. All right, and my last question is that, uh, have you ever rented a car under your name? No. Okay. All right, so, uh, Ms. Crystal, are you willing to cooperate with the federal government to catch the rogue culprit who have misused your personal information? Then only we can put your case and your warrant on hold. So, are you willing to do that? Yes. All right, that's great. So, uh, just stay on the line. Let me just transfer your call to the senior officer with DEA Department Drug Enforcement Administration. He is a concerned person in regard to your case. He will help you out and he will provide you more information about your case. All right? Okay. Uh, thank you so much for holding the line. Your line has transferred to the senior officer from the Drugs Enforcement Administration. This is Officer Jared Adams. How are you doing today, ma'am? Fine. How are you? Hello? Yes, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Hello? I'm here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Yes, and I believe that the officer has explained you about the situation that was going on under your name and your social in the state of Texas, right? Yes, she has. Okay. So now here, ma'am, uh, since you're aware about the situation, I just want to know from your end that uh, do you have anything to say or what you would like to say about this uh, money laundering and drug trafficking case which has been press charged under your name and your social? No. I'm sorry? No. You have nothing to say? No. Okay. So, uh, uh, do you receive any phone calls from your local police department before this call? No, I have not. Okay. So, uh, ma'am, there is a case money laundering and drugs trafficking as press charges under your name, and also there is an arrest warrant has been issued under your name. 
So uh, be aware about the the arrest warrant. Okay. Ma'am, it seems like you are, you know, you are not aware about the situation and you are taking very lightly. Uh, in that case, uh, we have to, you know, issue the arrest warrant and we have to uh, take this matter illegally under your name. Do you know what is money laundering and drugs trafficking? I'm sorry, what? Do you know what's going on under your name in your social? Do you no. know what is money laundering and drugs trafficking? No, I do not. Uh, where are you, ma'am, at this point of time? You are at your home or you are outside? You are at your working place? Yes. There we go.